Hello friends, I hope you are enjoying your weekend. This video is going to come on Sunday. Uh, in this video, I'm just uh, going to show some example of DAX and some visual representation of the uh, data. Uh, this question was posted actually a few years ago, uh, if I remember correctly, on Power BI Community Forum, where a user want to see the order status uh, like Amazon like order status for example if order is like uh, has multiple statuses like shipping soon shipped out of delivery so he wanted to see the orders and on the tooltip he want to see where it is in the status in the life cycle of the shipping and he want to highlight all the data points let's say if it is in the third stage of the shipping he want to highlight the first second and third if it is in the second stage of the shipping then first and second and so forth so on um, I enjoyed doing this one. So it was just a little fun. So let's look at it some. Uh, uh, let's look at the data, uh, Power BI file, and look at the DAX, which will make this happen. Um, let's get to Power BI. Okay, here we are. I already have a uh, few uh, visuals here. So here I'm showing orders amount by uh, order, uh, <laughs> order amount by orders. So basically E1 is one order, D1, C1, B1, A1. And uh, th these are the different statuses for the orders. So A1 is in the delivery stage, uh, B1 is in out for delivery, C1 is shipped, D1. I have like a four different statuses here where the orders, because with time this, these statuses will change back in the system or whatever um, uh, ERP system is getting used. So they, it, will, it, it will have the most current uh, status of the order and E1 in here. I just put an example. It's not even shipped So what I did is uh, first of all, there is a table I created called um, order statuses uh, And then it has the f all the unique value of the statuses like uh, delivered out of delivery And so those are the statuses and then that there is an order of the uh, status like shipping soon is the first stage uh, sh shipped is the second stage, out for delivery is the third, and fourth is the delivered one. So, uh, like for example, C1 is shipped. So when we want to visualize, we want to see the shipping soon, and as well as the shipped, those data points to be highlighted. Okay, so so these tables are not connected. And now, uh, what we're going to do here is, we're gonna um, do a, start writing some measures. Let me rearrange these visuals. So first and foremost, we will do is uh, I will write a measure called a uh, let's call it count of statuses status or oh, that will be simple count rows order status. Um, why I'm doing it this I will show it in the when we get to the visualization so just um, for now we're just creating a count of status so it will be one for each shipping status I'm gonna remove the status order anyway let's keep it here so shipping soon is of course each one will get one row because the uh, uh, value of one because these are just one unique values in there now here is what we are going to do this is going to be the <clears throat> interesting measure so what we want is we want to uh, find out uh, based on the order which we are looking at what is the where we are in the status uh, in, in for that particular order so let's say um, we can call it uh, maybe order status order current status maybe First and foremost, what we're going to do is let's first because these tables are not connected, right? So we need to find out where this order is, what is the uh, in the life cycle where it is, because this is these text value we cannot uh, work on this because we need to work on the status order because then we can go if it is on the third, it means it already completed first, it already completed second, it's it's right now on the third one, right? So what we need to go is let's get a uh, um, order status uh, <clears throat> so that will be pretty simple so we can calculate 
you get the max of uh, order status Uh, the column name is status order so okay so if we put just this max it will give us let me just actually show it will give us the actual uh, this is not going to be useful for us uh, but I just want to show you what we are doing this sorry this one and if I bring it here it's going to be the same value one two three four so because max of each status order is one two three four so that's what we are getting so this is this is not what we're looking for what we're looking for is when i click on an order what is the status uh, uh, at that point in time so what we can do is treat as because these are not connected no relationships or treat uh, treat as we can uh, if there's no relationship we can uh, create the relationship not create the relationship but we filter the data from uh, with the treat as so values so we're going to get the order order status uh, my table names i need to right and then from this uh, table values of order order status we're gonna we are going to uh, filter our uh, status table so that is order status and status column why are we using status column because in order if we just quickly look at this uh, might get an error here now because it changed uh, let me first finish this quickly okay why we are using status here so what is happening is so in order table, actually sales order table, we have delivered out food for, for delivery and ship. So what we're doing is when we click on C1 shipped order, based on this shipped value, we want to filter our status table and then that will be filtered for shipped and then we will get this value, status order value. So that's what we are doing in the measure. So now we have that. So if we look now, it is one, two, still one, two, three, four, but it, it's not going to change anything until we select an order. Let's select an order here. So A1. Uh, now we see A1 is a delivered. So we get the value four, which is correct because the delivered is four. If we click on out for delivery, we get the value uh, out for delivery three. When we click for shipped, we get the two. So this is working. So that measure based on when we click the order, based on that we are getting the order um, uh, uh, status uh, this this key value um, but one thing we we need here is uh, because uh, if you if you look at that so when i'm clicking on shipped it is only giving me the shipping data point right because that is the current status but what we want is we want to see all the statuses where it which are already completed so whatever the law for this one the last status is shipped. We want to see all the previous step uh, uh, um, uh, uh, statuses as well. So this this is not going to work for visualization. And uh, actually, maybe I try to show you guys why it wouldn't work. Um, so let's do this thing. Um, the way we want to visualize it. So let's say we we are going to have a line graph here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have our status on our x-axis, right? And it will not show any value. And then we will have a count of status, which I created before. I mentioned that I will show you what does that is going to. So now we are seeing this straight line because we are getting one for each uh, status. So this is that's why the straight line. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this color of this one to be... Uh, gray so that we can highlight the data points and also one thing i'm going to do is under shapes i think i'm going to show the marker and make marker size maybe a little bit bigger 20 okay perfect so now we have the it's showing the status between the gray color so nothing fancy at this point in time so now if i put my second measure which i created order um, uh, order current status so if I drop that on the values, 
so now of course this is uh, this is not what I'm expecting to do uh, what I wanted to do here was um, if order status is uh, okay let's do that if is not Uh, note is blank then give me one so this this will turn out to be the straight line right now it was giving the value one two three four so as you can see now we have a both have returned the values and they are overlapped with each other and if I now click on this one any of the order as you can see the shipped data point is selected because this order has a status of shipped if I click on this one it has the shipping soon if I click the E1, it, there's no status for, for now, which is um, no right, but just an example. If I click on A1, it is already delivered and it is on the fourth stage. So th this is working, but the, the problem is, if I'm on the delivered, I also want to highlight these three data points as well. So if I'm on this order, if I'm on the shipped one, I want to highlight shipping soon is, basically we want to show the steps which are completed. So shipping soon is completed and shipped is completed. So that's why um, the Maya needed some tweaking. Let me convert this back to uh, a table so that we can oh, maybe create another table here. I will remove this one uh, for now, I'll actually keep it. Uh, let's make it a table so that we can actually see how the Mayas will work. I'll make it smaller so that we can fit everything in there. Okay. So we have a shipping and an account of status, which is always one because this is counting the same, it's a unique row, and then that's why we are getting one. And this one based on the orders current based on the selected order. Uh, if uh, otherwise it does not have any value, it doesn't mean anything because we don't know which order we are looking at. But when I click on an order, it changes the value now it's showing me shipped one because the status is on the shipped uh, when i'm in a b1 it's showing me the status out for delivery but i want this one to be on the each row previous steps as well the completed steps right because uh, otherwise the, the, this is only highlighting a data point which is showing the current status not the all the one which are completed so we're going to tweak our measure a little bit so what we're going to do here is the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to remove the filter on our order status uh, table. So now we have the maximum status. Uh, if I take this order status as in a value just to showcase what this all just did in our calculation. Uh, if you look back, if I click on sh uh, shift, I'm getting the value 2 for each status now right before that it was only giving the value two for the shipped one uh, out for delivery it's giving me value three but giving me value for everything so th this is working this is what i want so it is giving me the value three for everyone and this one is shipping soon so giving me the value one for everything and now what we can do is simply uh, change the return one so we're going to say calculate we already have a count, count of status. Major, we will recycle that, and then we're going to say a our order status. Uh, whatever the column name is, order status. And the column name is status is less than equal to our this variable whatever the current order status is maybe i would change it to something more user friendly current order status okay so let's see what what this does to us and look in the visualization oh some error uh, where is the oh this is not status this should be status is a text column so status order all right perfect so if i now click in here so now 
we are one of the shipping status uh, shipped status we are getting the the shipping soon is already completed and the shipped is already completed so we are getting the value one for both of those so if i go on a shipping soon only this is a starting uh, point so it is um, just that one is what completed out of delivery when we are in out of delivery as you can see three data points are now highlighted and delivered one is not highlighted so so this is this is working great so now once this is done so this is working as expected and uh, what we can do is of course we, we can remove that legend here and what not so the final output i already have a final version uh, developed for this uh, which i will show you here on the page two i created a, a tooltip page and uh, tooltip page has the same thing uh, what we just seen and then i go on my actually final page where I'm looking the orders I can hover over and on the I, I probably turn off the tooltip so I can set this as in a tooltip so go to tooltip and I put a duplicate of order status as my tooltip page so now when I hover over it will show me the status where the order is uh, in 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 that uh, in the life cycle of the shipping maybe i should change the page size to a little bit smaller it is too too much white space in there so maybe make it uh, 120 yeah so maybe that will look better <clears throat> and now if i hover over all right i get to see the status and it gives me like um, the status the way i wanted it to be whatever status it current status is it highlight all the previous status and the one which are still need to be completed they are in the gray color this was a little fun uh, video to do uh, to showcase like how you can with the uh, line visual you overlapping the two data points because the both data points has the same value so the the one which was the gray one uh, was on the back and the one which was the uh, highlighted one was uh, was on top of it so it looks like it is highlighting the data point. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it's just a, some, some DAX trick there and also uh, some visualization that you can achieve a few things uh, with DAX and certain visuals. Uh, until next video, have a good weekend. Uh, do subscribe my channel. Bye for now. Thank you.